And then you are in a position to negotiate in a position of strength with the European banks, the gangsters of Germany, France, and, and Spain, the big banks, which are borrowing from their state at 1% and lending to the Greek uh, poor state at 7% presently, or 6% today, <coughs> uh, uh, which, which is robbery. Uh, you are in a, then you are in a position. And you can, you can suggest an alternative, which is going back to what was the state. What was the state? A series of national currencies, because there are national states, but related to one another by relative fixed prices, but which can be renegotiated from time to time. That is, uh, that would create the room for the social movements, for the radicalization and the, the movements of the popular classes to, uh, to, 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 to uh, limit at least the super profits of uh, the oligopolies uh, financial and non-financial, which are running exclusively the system today. This is what, how I'm seeing the, 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 the question of uh, the EU and EU. Thank you. If uh, no one else wants to comment, or maybe wants, I have a sub-question, but you have, of course... You have uh, asked three or four questions in one, so I answer to only one, because you have raised the issue of delinking, you have raised... Many yeah, other, yeah, of yeah. course. But there will be time to get to the other questions. Uh, Michael, head first the mic and then you, okay? Well, I think perhaps he would be better to go first. Because Don't be politically correct. He isn't politically correct. <laughs> I think it's, it's already working. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me answer that question in an entirely different way, which is, is the future, taking up the, the sub-question of, is the future Greece? Greece is a future in the sense that people are struggling against the austerity programs. But there's another option, and that other option is that people will accept the austerity programs. They will decide that there is, in fact, no alternative. And I think that that, that speaks to the general question of the crisis of capitalism. Is this a crisis in capitalism that capitalism can go beyond and restructure itself? Or is it a crisis of capitalism? And my argument is that it's only a crisis of capitalism if there, is a, there are active subjects who are prepared to struggle against these measures. And I think that that's the key question. Uh, and, you know, and for that, you need a vision, because people will not struggle unless they think there is a possible alternative. And, and that is, I think, a, a central question. Yeah. But if you're talking about the vision, and here we're coming to Slavoj, uh, you didn't understand because it was only in Croatian, but we were mentioning Greece. And then Slavi said, like, uh, you see what's happening in Greece, but it seems to me, to him, uh, that the, the, the Greek uh, activists and so on don't have any vision. So the question is, well, what are the leftists in Greece doing? I mean, they're, they're opposing European Union, but they don't have an alternative model. model. I, I don't want to repeat what uh, Michael has just said, because I fully, fully, fully agree it's the crucial part. But when I am asked, anybody is asked, what will be the world after the crisis? It's, it's a question one should laugh at. There is no answer. The first long crisis after the first uh, uh, Belle Epoque, uh, which led to, what, what was the answer to the first long crisis of capitalism? The First World War, the Russian Revolution, the crisis of 29, Nazis, Imperial Japan, the Second World War, the Chinese Revolution, the Yugoslav Revolution, the Vietnamese Revolution, and the independence of Asia and Africa. These are small events, and it is those small events which were the response to the crisis, and which created another balance of power for some, some time. So, this system is not going to move out of the crisis. We are moving into a long period, 20 years, 30 years, I don't know, of, let's call it chaos, like wars, war has already started, there will be more. Potentially revolutions or revolutionary advances. There are already revolutionary advances in some countries of Latin America, in Nepal, there will be others. The big events, and it is those big events which will create a new balance of power. Therefore, the question of Michael is central. Of course, if the Greek people and other people, you and others, Accept, accept, accept. Uh, what capital, dominant capital asks them is to adjust 
continuously to a decreasing a deterioration of their social conditions. Then there is no bottom to that. Huh? You can continuously. I am um, possibly optimist enough that at a certain point the people start reacting differently. But indeed, if one thinks like Negri, that by, by their exclusive, uh, spontaneous movements, they are creating communism and they are going beyond capitalism and so on, I don't believe at all that. We need, and they need, the people need, the crystallization of a political program, which has no name other than a stage, stages on the long road to global communism, as a higher level of, higher level of civilization, not just uh, a mode of production, the same, but with uh, a little more social justice and, uh, and regulation and management. No, and, and on, th on that long road, now, I, I think that this is what is needed today to uh, discover again the le legitimacy, the full legitimacy of the only alternative. There is no alternative but communism, but socialism, but long road to communism. There is no alternative to that. Capitalism is not an alternative. Slava or Mikhail, do you have a comment maybe? Uh, you have your mic here. Here it is. that two Jews see each other on the street and one says to another, Haimovich, I, I have read that you are dead. And Haimovich says, the, the news about my dead death are slightly exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that, um, um, I guess, um, said to tell that um, uh, this um, globalization forces have to to totally collapsed would be slightly premature. And now that there is um, one of the, the slogans that are very often heard in Germany and all over Europe is this too big to fail. It was, uh, uh, it was um, applied to the big banks, but if we are sp speaking about the, the system as, as a whole, it's still more applicable. And uh, I guess um, it's slightly premature to, to speak about the collapse. And um, uh, another, another remark, I, I'm not sure that, uh, that, com that communism will benefit from the crisis. My, uh, my so, hypothesis would be that nationalism and uh, nationalist, nationalist forces will, uh, are likely to benefit from this crisis. Yes, they are benefiting. In Russia, we have, we have some, uh, some rise of uh, these nationalistic forces. The same, uh, the same um, we observe in Hungary and in some, in some other places. So this is, this is how I, I, I see it. So, I, paradoxically, I think this will be a very strange situation where the two of us who come from ex-communist countries will be much more skeptical, at least towards the immediate prospect of first step towards the road of the road towards communism than the other two of esteemed guests. Let me state my position. First, in general terms, yes, I agree. The only solution, long term, communism and so on. And I mean communism. I don't mean I totally agree with you here, any of those negative dreams like when he was in Brazil. It's interesting to read Negri when he is outside Europe, because there he says things more openly that he would be afraid to say here. Like in Brazil, he said more postmodern capitalism, and he emphasized that he means this, virtual speculations, etc. He said this is practically already communism. We don't have to fight it anymore. We are practically there. And then this has very interesting philosophical consequences. For example, sorry, political. Do you know that when Berlusconi was put on trial a year and a half ago, Negri publicly supported Berlusconi, claiming that he, Berlusconi, is like him, Negri, the victim of the same bourgeois justice. Sorry, but here I am a little bit for bourgeois justice. Like, if you still like Berlusconi, maybe I'm ready to support bourgeois justice too put him where he belongs. Okay, but I want to say something else. You know where is maybe the key difference? 